Swing Fit Tooling. It's a product we all know Heimer for, but today we're going to dive a little deeper into your product. But first, let's just start, you know, what is Shrink Fit Tooling? Okay, Shrink Fit Tooling is, is a process where basically we clamp a shank of a given diameter in a holder using the process of induction. Okay. The induction coil is a magnetic coil which generates heat. Mm -hmm causes the holder to expand. We place the tool in, the holder then contracts, mm -hmm. clamping the shank, whether that's high-speed steel or solid carbide or steel, mm -hmm. clamps it in such a way we have three a complete 360 degree contact and increasing rigidity, and certainly with the Hymer system, rigidity and increasing, decreasing run out and the, the mm -hmm. fine balance of the holder. Okay, and we, we, and we talk about various different shrink fit systems. You're a little bit different, aren't you? Uh, we, we believe, yes, we're not just a little bit different, where the Hymer system gives you the complete system where we control the process. And that is the, a, a huge thing with when you're embarking on working with shrink systems and shrink holders. Again, there's an awful lot of holders on the market. We see more and more what we I'll use the term alien holders, mm -hmm. and we understand the industry will always, mm -hmm. always have a, a variety of holders on option. But the, we believe the benefit in using the, the Hymer system in conjunction with the Hymer, system, Hymer holders is we have unique codes on our on mm -hmm. every single shrink holder, whether it's a short power shrink, a long 100, 160 mil power shrink or an extension system like this. Sure. So all these unique codes are specific to the shrink machine. So the exact parameters are used every mm -hmm. single time. So essentially you can't overheat and destroy the holder. Absolutely, yeah. We're looking after the integrity of the holder. These, again, it's a huge misconception in the market where people say these things get damaged, they only last 10, 20, 30 mm -hmm. shrinks. No, that's wrong. Okay, if you followed the correct process, there's holders still in the market, and we, we will say 15, 20, 25,000 shrinks. From memory, don't, don't you, haven't you tested it up to a thousand or something? Absolutely. We, uh, there's uh, the apprentice program in Germany where we believe the, the apprentices are, are asked to go through a series of shrinks over their mm -hmm. apprenticeship, and these holders have been in the, the training center there in the school for years, and these mm -hmm. holders are just repeatedly done and the rigidity and the accuracy never changes because it's a controlled process. Mm -hmm. So we heat it in the correct way and we cool it in the correct way. Mm -hmm. That's the, the, the most important thing with the, the, the process of the shrink system. And I know there's a, you say about a code, there's almost like a QR code as well. Absolutely, yeah. We've now in line with Industry 4.0, we've, we've tried to, if you like, eliminate the manual input just to make it fail safe. <laughs> As much as as much as we can, as you, you clearly point out there, Joe. As well as the the unique code, where we can put in the correct parameters mm -hmm. into the machine, we also have now this little QR system where we're able to scan that, mm -hmm. and the exact parameters go into the shrink system with the correct mm -hmm. coil diameter, where mm -hmm. we're able to shrink the system so safely. So it's fair to say there's very little skill. The skilled people can be doing the more important tasks. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah, 100%. Yeah, it's, uh, mm -hmm. the ease of use now with, certainly with the Hymer system, mm -hmm. is uh, very mm -hmm. simple. That's the holders, but how about the extensions? If we stand this, yeah. oh, crikey, if I can. It's like Blackpool Tower, isn't it? Yeah. But so, we've obviously, what's that, one, two, three extensions. What? what, what yeah, shrink. In a shrink, in a shrink. Yeah, okay, so same same thing. Again, we've got the code, so we, we don't over exactly. So it's not just Exactly, so it's not just the holders, mm -hmm. yeah? So you'll clearly see this has a D3, so simply D3 on the shrink system. Sure. But every single piece of equipment has a unique code. So whether it's a mini shrink, an extension, so this is B8, mm -hmm. very simply, correct, B8. fine, yeah? And it's also got the same code on there. Uh, mm -hmm. Exactly. And out of interest is what one, two, three. So what we're talking there? How many? What's the run out over that total length? We 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 will guarantee a maximum of three microns per assembly. So 
obviously. Maximum the, of nine. The, the mathematicians among, amongst us will say <laughs> nine microns. But it could be less, of course. It, obviously, yeah, we're, we're chasing zero here. More often mm -hmm. than not, that would be better mm -hmm. than that. But traditionally, over something like that, we see, and I'm sure you've seen in the, in the past, where somebody will have a standard ER collet with a, an mm -hmm. extension within an ER and then so on and so sure. forth. And then we're expecting the piece of carbide at the end to do its job. It's nigh and impossible, yeah? For a, sim a simple build-up like this, yes, we understand there's a, the, the investment of the shrink system, mm -hmm. but I'm sure you'll, you can clearly see that that would give you huge benefits. Absolutely, right. I'm gonna put this down before yeah, it falls off. There we are, that's the, that's the high-immersed shrink fit system.